Kaylee. Thanks for sending your question. Uh, to define this function piecewise, we're just going to look at each of these pieces where it's broken up. So it looks like it's broken up at negative 2, 0, and 2. So from negative infinity all the way up to negative 2, it looks like they define uh, y as x squared minus 4. So you can see that I've expressed that as our first piece. Then it becomes um, 4 minus x squared between negative 2 and 0. Um, you don't have any open circles on this function, so where you put this or equal to really doesn't matter. Um, it can go on either the function on the left side or the right side. Um, then from 0 to 2, we have a line. They tell us to interpret this as a line segment. This looks like a line with a y-intercept of 4, and we go down 4y for every 2x we go over, so it has a slope of negative 2. And then from 2 to positive infinity, our function is defined as 2 minus 1 half x squared. Since we're going to be uh, finding so many derivatives, um, so many left-hand and right-hand derivatives for this function, um, just go ahead and take the derivative of all of your pieces before you start delving into the problem. Um, so let's go ahead and look at part B. They ask us to find f prime of negative 2 from the left. So if we're coming up on the function from the left, up to negative 2. It looks like we're dealing with this piece up here. Um, so it's going to be this derivative evaluated at negative 2. We plug negative 2 in there, you'll see that we get negative 4. For C, they ask us to evaluate um, f prime from the right um, evaluated at negative 2. So if we're coming up on negative 2 from the right, we're now dealing with this part um, of the, this piece of the function. Um, so this is the derivative that we're looking at. And just go ahead and plug in negative 2 there, and you'll see that you get 4. And so on and so on. Um, the next piece we're looking at is f prime from the left evaluated at 0. Um, if we're coming up on 0 from the left, we are looking at this piece right here. So we're just going to go ahead and plug in 0 there, and we'll get 0. For E, um, we're looking at the same thing from the right. So if we're coming at 0 from the right, our derivative is just negative 2. And then they want us to look at um, f prime from the left of 2, and of course, um, f prime from the right evaluated at 2. So if we're coming up on 2 from the left, uh, we're dealing with this piece right here. And if we are coming up on 2 from the right, we are dealing with this piece right here. Um, evaluate this at 2, and we will get negative 2. Um, the last thing they ask us to interpret is the places where the function is not differentiable. So that's what this whole thing was all about. Um, we want to find the places where the derivative from the left and from the right are not equal, and those will be the places where your function is not differentiable. So f is not differentiable. at x equals negative 2 and x equals 0. Which should make sense when we look at the picture um, because we have points at negative 2 and 0 and those are always places of non-differentiability. So thanks again for your question, Kaylee, and I look forward to answering more of your questions using SnapMath in the future.